And welcome to the uh, Out to Lunch show here on WRMN. We are live at Image 360 in South Elgin, Illinois, on this uh, Friday. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm Marky B, and we are trying to take Out to Lunch with WRMN on the road uh, here as we get the new uh, programming schedule underway. Uh, Everybody is outside the building. We're on Sundown Drive in South Elgin if you want to come see us today. And uh, we're going to be here from 12 until 1. Uh, Sonar, the Savant Greens back at the radio station. He will be taking over at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Right now, the Elgin Chamber of Commerce, a lot of other uh, friends and family of uh, the owners here of Image 360, it's a sign shop. They are outside uh, taking part in a live Facebook, I think, for the ribbon cutting that's taking place right now. So uh, the owners, Lisa and Dan, are going to, uh, Lisa and Matt, rather, are going to swing in here and join me in just a couple of minutes as we get this show underway. Uh, This is WRMN, and um, this is a new show that's on from 12 to 2 every day. The radio shopping show will be back on the air this afternoon at 3. Uh, Matt will have that for you from 3 to 6 this afternoon, so listen in to Matt. Be sure to go to our website for more information at WRMN1410.com. That's WRMN1410.com. Looks like they're going to have a little lunch here. Uh, They're getting ready to unveil the food. I think it's going to get a little bit loud in this room in just a few minutes when the people come in from outside. And during this hour, we're going to talk, as I mentioned, to Lisa Schmidt and uh, Matt Merritt. We'll see which one of those two will come up. They're both the co-owners of the Image 360. And then... uh, Carol Gieske from the Elgin Chamber is probably going to swing by for a minute and talk to me. She's here today, and of course, she has her once-a-month show on WRMN, which is Chamber Chat on the fourth Tuesday of every month at 9.15. She features Elgin businesses, talks about them. Today, we're just a little bit down the road here in South Elgin. If you want to find the place, it is uh, off of Route 31, not too far from our friends at RK's, not too far from the WRMN transmitter. Not far at all from the Meineke, which we have had oil changes from for a long time on the radio shopping show. Uh, Pretty well-known place, pretty well-known street, at least, here in South Elgin. If you turn off of 31 on the Sundown Drive and you head to the west, the actual address is 506, and you can see what they have to offer here at Image 360. i got a brochure here in my hand, and it's uh, signs, graphics, displays, 360 degrees of exposure, I guess is their slogan and i'll find out all of what they have to offer in just a few minutes coming up in the second half of the hour um drew sosnowski is going to stop by for a bit he's running for state's attorney for kane county in the fall he's very active in a lot of ways here uh locally and uh, one of the reasons he's going to be stopping by at 12 30 well he introduced himself a little bit to the uh, local audience but also there is going to be a free uh narcan training session going on for opioid overdose prevention. Kane County Health Department's putting it on along with the 708 board for the Elgin Township. This uh, location where we are today at Image 360 is right in the middle of the Elgin Township. Uh, Elgin Township building is at 729 South McLean Boulevard. And this event is coming up a week from tomorrow at 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, If you'd like to learn more about maybe saving somebody's life, uh, if you are anywhere near anybody that's suffering from an opioid overdose, that's what this is going to be. And it's sponsored by Elgin Breakfast Rotary Club, Elgin Township Committee on Seniors, the Elgin Township Mental Health Board, and the Elgin Township itself. And um, on the 708 board is Drew Sosnowski, and he will be here to tell us about this event to tell us about another event he wants to talk about and also to introduce himself a little bit, tell you why he's running for state's attorney come November. Well, thanks for joining us. It is a beautiful day here in uh, the Mid-South, the Mid-South, the Midwest. And uh, here at the beginning of this noon hour today, we are looking at uh, somewhere around 50 degrees. I believe that's going to be our daytime high today. Bright sunshine outside right now. Uh, Don't forget that later on today, as I mentioned, the radio shopping show and coming up, As you hear the noise outside, that's uh, some confetti going off for the official ribbon cutting having taken place here at a kind of new sign shop, Image 360 in South Elgin. So the confetti has now flown, and some of the people are going to come back inside the building here in just a couple of minutes, and we'll be joined by um, the owner of Image 360 in just a second. Uh, As I was mentioning, uh, the Redemption Center is open now. It is in downtown Elgin, 14 Douglas Avenue. 
So you can come on by and uh, visit Matt. He'll be in the Redemption Center until 3 o'clock this afternoon. And then the radio shopping show will be live from 3 until 6. Looks like we might have our first visitor of the day. Um, one of the owners here uh, at Image 360 coming by here in just a second. Who's going to go first? Lisa's going to pick up a uh, microphone here. And uh, we're looking that way, Lisa. Okay, great. Lisa Schmidt with Image 360. The reason that I know you is because you were my dance instructor. I was. For the Pads Dance about, yeah. what, five, five years, years ago, ago now? Yeah. It was five years yeah, ago. And uh, we danced, uh, Lorena and I danced to... Uh, Sweet, Sweet Home, Home Chicago. Chicago. You remember that, huh? I do. You've it was danced, a great routine. You, you've instructed a lot of people over the years. I have, actually. You remember every inst every person you've instructed with every song? All the good ones. Oh, yeah. I thought maybe. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. I thought maybe you remember me because I was one of the bad ones and I was very memorable. No, no, that wasn't it. Oh. So we learned about a two and a half minute dance song. Yes. And it took us about two months to learn how to swing dance to that. No. It takes a long time. Yeah. So. Yes. Well, welcome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Because this is what it's all about here today, right? Image 360, Lisa Schmidt and uh, Matt Merritt. And um, you, you guys are husband and wife and the owners of this place. And it, and even though you, you've been open for a little while here, yeah. it's kind of in a way like a grand opening today, right? You never yeah. had a ribbon cutting. No, we haven't done that yet. So we wanted to um, take the opportunity to just, you know, announce it to the community and have people out to see our business and come over and really see what we do and visit the shop. And um yeah, and just really make an event out of it. Yeah. So. Well, beautiful day. Nice turnout today. Yes. And um, a dream come true in a way, right? You and your husband are both from uh, from Elgin originally. Yes. And so and now you get to have a shop right here in the Elgin area. That's right. Yeah. Well, um, you want to tell us a little bit about the business? I guess that's Matt's job, Sorry, right? I'm going to hand the microphone. Pass the Matt uh, microphone over to Matt. Hi. So congratulations. I know this is a proud day for you. You've you, you want to tell us a little bit about you, your history, a little bit before you got this shop and how it all came about. Uh sure. I was in um I was in graphics in high school, Burlington Central, uh, and I wanted to have a job that was in the graphics field. And I started at a local sign company uh, the summer before my junior year in high school, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, so that's almost thirty years. And um, about eleven years ago. I started working here at this shop and um, it was signs now at the time. And then we changed names, same, same company, but just different name. And um, I worked for multiple owners and eventually we were able to uh, purchase it from the previous owner and uh, which was a year ago, uh, March 1st last year. And um, yeah, we, we, this was definitely a dream, definitely a God thing that we would not have been able to do on our own. For sure. Yeah, it kind of all came together. I think Lisa was telling me how it all sort of fell fell together perfectly for you. Yes. Can you explain what that what that means a little bit? Um, how well, that happened? Well, um, the previous owner uh, texted me out of nowhere and asked if I wanted to purchase the shop. And this was the shop that one is in the community that I live. Um, it's in the community that I was I was born in. I was born in Elgin, and uh, my family's in this area. This is where we're raising our kids. And um, it's five minutes from my house. Yeah. So it's very convenient. And uh, I know the shop the most out of all the other places I've worked. So um, <clears throat> uh, this, is, this is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And you're on a nice uh, kind of a major thoroughfare in a way. At least, yeah. um, you know, it's a main street coming through uh, from McLean Boulevard down to Route 31. And if you're around the South Elgin area at any point in time you're generally probably going down sundown drive at one point the official that's 506 sundown um and so you come down sundown off of 31 to the west or to the east from mclean and and um you're on the north side of the street pretty easy to see yeah right in the corner of sundown and schneider sundown and schneider so you want to talk about some of uh the things that you offer here at uh, image 360 this is not the only image 360 right correct it's a franchise uh they're all individually owned and operated um, and, uh, corporate's fantastic. They really help us out when we need it. Um, but, um, yeah, so we do everything from business cards to vehicle wraps, everything in between yard signs, uh, the sign here behind us, uh, is standoff signs, uh, wall graphics, uh, name tags, pretty much anything. Banners. Um, banners are fantastic trade show booths, uh, banner, uh, trade show banners, um, and everything. Yeah, yeah, pretty much everything. If if you're not sure if we do it, give us a call and we'll let you know we probably do. Yeah. So and I noticed the what do you call the art? And you can't see it on the camera here, but um you have door art. And what's that called? Exactly? Uh, well we we 
flat bedded. We use a flat bed printer. It's a UV printer that we print directly to substrates, materials, whatever. So we took um, the door off our hinges and we took all the hardware off, put it on our flatbed printer, and we just printed directly to it just to show what the machine is capable of. Do people have their doors at home done? With, not like, often. Yeah. Not often. That'd but, be an interesting way to decorate your door at the yeah, house, I suppose. Yeah, you could make your door look a lot more expensive than it is. If you have a cheap door, you could make <laughs> it look mahogany or something if you wanted. Yeah. really making it wallpaper is really making its way back and um this is a print so we have in our office you can't see it from here but a picture from our honeymoon that matt printed out and it's the entire wall in our office so you can take a photo you like and put it on a wall in your home or something like that instead of just buying wallpaper or something generic from the store it can be really personal that's pretty cool i know we were talking about that yesterday a little bit when we visited the place um like with wrmn um, we are about to be in our 75th year, um, having our, celebrating our 75th anniversary. I think we went on the air in September of 1949. So conceivably, if we had the right type of images, pictures, things from over the years, right? We could almost have like a, a history of the radio station Absolutely. going down a hallway wall or something like that yes. in different ways, right? Yep. Yeah. Dates from the beginning all the way to the end and pictures in between showing you maybe you're the first building you, you started or the first crew that was on the air or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. So you not only work from here, but you also go out and you 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 scout out places. If someone needs a job done at the business or whatever, you you go and do the work at their place. Yes, I'll come to you. I'll uh, We can do site surveys, come to you. If you're not really sure what you're looking for or if you need measurements or whatever, we can. We'll, I will go out there, take pictures and measurements. We'll superimpose the signs we're proposing on the photos and give them to you as a as a proof. And then you can... At least that way you'll know what it'll look like before we produce it. Yeah. Um, so what are your business, what are your general office hours here? Uh, 830 to 5. 830 to 5? Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, 830 to 5. So there are sign shops around. Um, you see them from time to time all over the area. Do you feel like there's something that you guys do that kind of separates you guys from the other sign shops around? Or uh, Well, we have a vehicle base, so we can do fleets year-round. Uh, we don't have to worry about the weather being nice or going somewhere else, so we, we do fleets a lot. Um, but uh, just overall customer service and... Um, and and my 30 years experience so yeah and my lovely support team here yeah <laughs> right uh well you're listening to wrmn this is uh, out to lunch and we're on the air till two we'll be here till one o'clock i see uh one of my guests drew sosnowski is here he'll be in in just a few minutes to join me carol Giese with the chamber of commerce is going to join us in just a couple minutes as well um so vehicle fleets that means um like a business that wants to have all of their vehicles wrapped or, or something like that. Right. Or get some magnets done. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. were telling me before the show that you, 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 one of the things you're proud of is, is some of the, when you're driving down the road and you see a job that you did yeah. and you, and you pointed to the South Elgin uh, sign, the village signs, you actually did yep. those signs for the village of South Elgin. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. About half of them are the ones we did, uh, which are like faux brick. There's foam inside styrofoam and those are a little better safer if someone were to go off the road and hit them uh you know almost no damage to your vehicle but there are others that we didn't do that were masonry i think the city just did those themselves um but uh yeah we can absolutely do those and yeah and so can you think of other uh churches or businesses or, or fleets that you've done that you want to mention while we have you on the air here maybe lisa can, can think of a couple so the russo sign on randall road we did that here at the shop okay um, martin auto in downtown elgin we did um their signs there christ community church we've done a lot of signs for hosanna church a lot of churches up and down randall road we've done um we've done banners for South Elgin High School, we did a big scoreboard um, project for Huntley High School really recently where they have all the boys and girls stats for all the different sports going up in their um, in their gym. And we did those. They're really they're really huge and they're really cool. It was a really neat project. Yeah. Well, um, so if people want to find out more about the shop, um, 360 degrees of exposure. Is that your slogan? Yeah. Yeah. 360 degrees of exposure. Signs, graphics, displays. Um, is there a, a website or what's the best way that someone can find out more about you? Yeah, you can call the phone number or you can, uh, go on the website, which is, uh, yeah, I'll do the phone number first, okay. 847 488 and the website is South Elgin IL 
www.image360.com. South Elgin IL dot image 360.com. Correct. And uh, let's see the phone number one more time was uh, 847-488-0650 or image 360 at 506 Sundown Road here in uh, South Elgin. So today you'll be open till five for anybody who wants to come see the place for the first time. Yeah. I know yesterday we were talking about uh, you guys were going to be doing some um, like demonstrations yeah well what are you going to be doing today uh, i'm going to be doing a demo uh, i'm going to wrap the hood of our shop truck so you can see a really? wrap in person uh we have a couple of printers going uh a 60 inch wide hp printer is printing right now um and also our fuji flatbed is gonna print on a door and some other a few other things so if you're around you can take a look at that is there a particular time that any of these demos are going to take place or whenever uh, no, you get around to it? Whenever we get around to it, whenever <laughs> we have a crowd that uh, wants to take a look. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for having us here at WRMN today. And hopefully we can do some work together in the future. And congratulations on on the new um, the business. It's been here for a while, but it's kind of like a, a new beginning today, right? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Matt and Lisa with Image 360 here in South Elgin, Illinois. All right, we're going to take a quick break here on Out to Lunch with WRMN. I think Carol Gieske from the Chamber is going to drop by in just a couple minutes to say a word or two. And then Andrew Sosnowski is going to join us for a while for the second half of Hour 1 of Out to Lunch on WRMN on a sunny Friday. We'll be right back. Out to lunch here on WRMN on this Friday afternoon. It's one of our goals for the new program is to be out and about a little bit. And today we are at Image 360 here on Sundown in South Elgin. Yesterday we were at the Elgin Public House. I've got a guest you've heard of before here on the radio station. And uh, she is Carol Gieske, president of the Elgin Chamber of Commerce. Hi, Carol. Hello, Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? So much fun having you out and on site. What a great idea. You might see me a little more often in the I future. I hope so. That's great. I, Lisa called me last Friday, um, having been my dance instructor in the past, <laughs> and invited me to lunch. And I said, well, can I bring a radio station with me? And she said, yeah, that's fine. So uh, this is a chance for us to kind of uh, set up our stuff that we hope to do a lot in the future. Yesterday, we did a broadcast from the Elgin Public House. Oh, isn't that great, Greg? I mean, well, we're sorry to lose his leadership. But, you know, that's wonderful. Congratulations to him and his family. We have to make sure that we find Greg uh, uh, the proper replacement. Absolutely. Since that is... I think probably the most well-known restaurant in downtown Elgin. So we don't want to see that change too much when, when the ownership changes. But, you know, if ownership changes and leadership changes, maybe they have some wonderful changes, too, that they would want. But hopefully, yes, we need to get great owners who are responsive to the community and can continue to meet the needs of the, the downtown area. So you, um, with the Elgin Chamber, yes. uh, not only focus on Elgin proper, but you step outside a little bit, right? Elgin and South Elgin is okay. the area that we cover, Mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Um, this is, even though this, this image 360 has been open for a while and it's not the only image 360, you could tell that their, their, the, their leadership here, um, they feel like it is their own. They, they have a franchise, but they're, yeah. they're claiming ownership here. And that's, it makes a big difference, right? It does make a huge difference. And we have had a relationship with image 360 and Matt actually, when Matt was on staff here. So the windows, we have a number of, of wonderful printers, it's great resources in the greater Elgin area, Elgin and South Elgin. Matt installed the window, uh, the logos of our window on our windows in downtown Elgin. So we worked with Image 360 through iterations of of uh, ownership, and we're just so excited for Matt and Lisa to own this and and be so, as successful as they are. Yeah. Well, if you guys used a Matt before, then you know he does quality work, right? Quality work. They've done great stuff for us, and and uh, they're very generous in, in this community and Elgin as well. And that's. So important when you have a family owned business who can give back to the community and employ their neighbors and, you know, your friends. Great yeah. thing. Well, and um, you do a lot of ribbon cuttings during the course of a year. Mm -hmm. um, you got sunshine today for this one. It's really 
not too bad for uh, an early, a mid-March day. Uh, I know it's not always the best weather for these ribbon cuttings, is it? No, it isn't. In fact, uh, just last week, we had a, a couple of ribbon cuttings. One of them was indoors, was so much fun. We were at Ascension St. Joseph Hospital on Airlight Drive, and they have a new Da Vinci robot surgery system, and the robot cut the ribbon for us, like what really? we saw today with the big scissors that we have, uh, very little scissors working through. So that was really terrific to have the Da Vinci ro robot do that. And then last week, we are in South Elgin as well, the new uh, Advocate Outpatient Center open on Randall Road. And so we had a, a ribbon cutting there. And that was a day that was cloudy and colder and windy, but nonetheless celebrating the activities and the, the expansion that's occurring in the Elgin area, South Elgin area. How many ribbon cuttings per year do, do, oh, are you God. involved with, with the Elgin Chamber? We probably do 50 to 75 of them. Yep, we have another one next week. So it's just wonderful to celebrate anniversaries, new ownership, expansions, whatever it might be. We're glad to bring bring our ribbon cutting and our volunteers and uh, to these businesses. Do you use the same scissors every time or do you, <laughs> do you, do you have a sharpener or do the same scissors work every we time? We have the same scissors. And in fact, Mark, they oh. are, they're a hot commodity because a number of other businesses borrow our scissors. Really? So we're glad to loan them out. Yep. You oh. bet. Well, thank you for stopping by today. Appreciate sure. it, Carol. Thank you so we'll much. see you on the air again soon. I look forward to it. Thanks. All right. That's Carol Gieske, Elgin Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this is out to lunch.